Hi friends. Now whole world is facing problem due to novel coronavirus. And my dear students, I know you are facing lot of problems because you are not getting classroom teaching. So here, today I am sharing some books for 12th class CVC board examination as well as for J main and J advanced competitive examinations. So first, you have to start with mathematics and set a book part 1 and there is a part 2 book, you have to solve both and if you want to more solving problems and more concepts you have to solve mathematics subjective addition math volume 1 and also volume 2 and after that you have to also solve some mathematics exemplar problems class 12s its online material is available on google and also you can buy this book from bookstores now this is the these are the books for cbc next the best book for beginners for computer exam is errorless mathematics it is helpful for both cbc and also for j main and j advance errorless mathematics again i am saying the name which is volume 1 and also its volume 2 is available and after errorless mathematics you have to solve IIT J J main advance of previous year solved the questions chapter wise topic wise and there is a best book publication by Aryant Amit May Agrawal note this Aryant publication author Amit M Agrawal and also you can solve R.D. Sharma objective test books now since already March month started and your first year all exams over I hope you have to start the mathematics syllabus and the main topic of 12th class is matrix which is an easy topic so first you start this topic and when you are doing your self study so you will face problem in matrix multiplication the addition subtraction and matrix properties you can understand but you will face problems where in matrix multiplication so here first we will start multiplication of matrices okay here i am multiplying two cross two matrices okay if a is a two cross two matrix and b is two cross two matrices then we will multiply so before first you have to remember one thing when you are multiplying two matrices the number of columns of first matrix must be equal to number of rows of second matrix that is here it is 2 and in b it is also 2 then we can multiply and we will get order of matrix a b which is equal to the number of rows of first matrix and number of columns of the second matrix that is 2 by 2 let's listen understood how to find the order next how to multiply here we are multiplying a and b two matrices the procedure is you have to multiply the corresponding elements of first row of first matrix to the corresponding elements of columns of second matrix and you have to multiply a11 first element to the b11 and again you have to multiply a12 and b21 and finally you have to add both multiplication understood similarly by the second column next a11 b12 and a1 to b2 okay then you have to get second row how to get second row multiply similarly second row of first matrix to both columns of second matrix a21 b11 a2 to b21 okay similarly the second element a21 b12 and a2 to b2 again i am saying how to get order first row of first matrix you can see here first row of first matrix is the number of row of first matrix is 2 we are getting 2 there are 2 rows and the number of columns of second matrix number of rows of first matrix number of columns of second matrix this is the order of 
multiplication matrix. Now I am taking one example. You can see I am taking one A matrix and another matrix B and I am multiplying both matrix. Here also we will follow the same procedure. Elements of first row of first matrix to the elements of first column of the second matrix. And here first matrix order is 2 cross 2 and second matrix order is 2 cross 2. 3 multiplication minus 2. You can see minus 1 multiplication 0. Then 3 multiplication 4 minus 1 multiplication minus 2. Okay. Then again by second row. 2 multiplication minus 2. 0 multiplication 0. Then by second column. 2 multiplication 4. 0 multiplication minus 2. Now what you are getting? 3 minus 2 minus 6. 0. And this is 12 plus 2. So minus 6. 14. And this is minus 4. And this is 2 4. 8 minus 0. So 8. And you can see here you are getting. Since both have same number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix same, so you are multiplying both. Otherwise, multiplication is not possible. And order what you are getting, the number of rows of first matrix is the number of rows of product matrix and number of columns of second matrix is the number of columns of product matrix. Understood? The multiplication procedure and how to get the order. Thank you. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel and please like, share this channel to get more videos. Thank you, friends.